Las Elefendang. This is from uh, two days ago. This is very likely even Wonkies or one of the elephants that was with him. You can still see it's got a bit of moisture in the middle part of it. It's starting to dry out on the outside. Also this time of year, a lot of sticks. Here you can see a lot of very coarse material. Like there's a big piece of stick that's been crunched. And of course now, when the rains do come, look at that. Imagine having to eat that. You can see that they crunch it as well. So obviously they get some nutritional value from the little sort of stick part of it as well as, as well as obviously the bark. That's the main part of what they're going for. No fruits, no berries, very little in here apart from just sticks and bark. When the rains come and there's lots of grass, they'll change their diet much more towards a grass orientated diet. And also berries and fruits and marullas in February when they belong and so on. Some zebras. <laughs> Again. Far away, you just make one out. Can you see them? Should be able to. Let's move. Let's try to get close. Edge not with her. Try.
I think I'm just getting a bit weak. And um, let's see if we can get a few more seconds. We're going to say goodbye just now, just before we disappear. I have one last look at the water, see if our digging has helped at all. And then um, we'll go back to the, to the big water hole. We've got, what's that, not quite a foot, but almost a foot, probably about 25 centimeters of water. That would be about a muddy belly full for a, for a zebra or two. It's interesting to see how it's still seeping in, obviously just running through the sand all around it. But in the meantime, thank you very much for joining us on the, on the wee walk this morning. It's been a lovely day around Treehouse Mud Pan, I think, is the best way to call it. And uh, certainly be interesting to see what happens here over the next while as well. I'm personally interested just how long this groundwater last out of interest to see if animals dig here more. For myself, Peter, from Herman, Pit and Superior, thank you much for joining us. And I'm speaking to you, so I'm going to keep it short here this afternoon. For the drive, you might be with Rexon, might be with me. We'll see what happens. And uh, we'll see some more wildlife. Enjoy the water. I'm sure it's going to be cooking. It's uh, getting hotter and hotter, and that's the only water in a bit of an area, so it should be very, very good. Enjoy it. We'll see you a bit later. Bye-bye.